Okay, we have another yeah. email. Uh, Roy says, are the politicians afraid of this union, uh, social workers union? Are they afraid of the top bureaucrats in this ministry? Um, that's obviously a question our guests can't answer, and I, I will attempt to answer it on behalf of politicians, and I will say uh, that they're probably just ignorant of this, um, that there's a government is a huge apparatus. How many politicians are there in British Columbia? 95. How many ministers... You know, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that because okay. you're bang on. But we've yeah. got another call. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Hi, I'm supposed to be out of the country, but uh, I'm not. And I tuned into the station and thought I should call, um, realizing that uh, I I I have a heart for these people because I've I've been through the same kind of situation, and I can see some of the same players being in it, uh, being namely the director, Bruce McNeil, and. Uh, I would just like to encourage the Baines and tell them your, your biggest weapon is to use media. The Ministry of Children are fearful of the media. They will try to shut down the mainstream media. They will try to uh, um, give the media concerns by saying such things as, well, you just don't know all the truth. We can't release all the truth to right. you. Um, they try to operate on fear. And uh, I definitely can see them trying to destroy your family by speaking to your children and telling them things that uh, put fear in them as well as uh, in the foster parents and everybody concerned. I would just like to tell you to hang in there. Use whatever you can. Uh, a secret is only, you know, a, a secret is what um, gives the basis for fear, but you need to bring it out mm -hmm. and uh, speak loudly. Um, Yours is not the only case. Um, I'm coming from a foster parent's position uh, where I've had take children taken from my home um, simply because a social worker thought I was a little bit too strong for her and I didn't want to um, do what she wanted to do for the children. Uh, I've been a, in a position on the Foster Parents Association and I've seen other cases. You see the same people all the time all the same social workers, the same team leaders, the same director involved in these cases, and um, they use the same tactics talk all yeah. the yeah. time. <laughs> well, you know, this this leads into your your your, your advice not to give up. Uh, is well up. taken here. Uh, we just haven't. We're getting so many emails and calls on this. Uh, we have another email from Michelle. How can people best support? you, Paul and Zabeth, how, how do you stay strong despite all this horrible circumstances? Well, let's deal with the first one. Yeah. What's thank, the thank, you, thank you, Caller. Thank you, Caller, yes. How can, how, can, how can people best support you? Do you want people writing to the ministry? Do you, do you have an online petition? Um, do you have a website people can sign on to or anything like Maybe you don't. Maybe I'm giving you ideas right now. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what can people do to support you? Yeah, there's a few ways. Um, first of all, yes, letters can help. And um, there's a blog that's written by our, the pastor that married us, uh, Ron Unrah. It's called GPS. And they can sign on as a follower and give, get his updates and comment there. But he also has ways to support us listed on that blog. Um, so what's the exact uh, address for the blog? It's called GPS. And that's just type in Ron Unraw GPS and it comes up in Google. Or okay. just go to our homepage and uh, click right for the full background. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I, w I just want to touch base first because I'm going to come back to this because this is important. But with what you said, Terry, about yeah. the ministers, this and that. Now, before I ask the question, which I will, about what does Minister Polak know about your case, I want to go back to the days when we did do the, the challenge with uh, Norm Jacobson. And uh, I found myself in his office, and you're very much correct, Terry. Um, he sat there because I basically just let him have it for 45 minutes. After all, he did invite me there. So, um, you know, I don't mince my words, and it was very clear. I don't have a whole bunch of time to waste on this. And uh, I ended up spending 45 minutes. He basically sat there, and with this astonished look on his face, um, I left after 45 minutes. I came back to the mainland. He called me at home that night and asked me to be back in Victoria the next morning. Cool. In that meeting was the then the equivalent of the director, the minister, the executive assistant, and little old me. 45 minutes into that meeting, the then director took early retirement. 
because hmm. it was very clear he had not been giving the minister full information about what was really going well, on well, in the well. ministry. Well. And that's what happens so often in these big bureaucracies. Ministers come and go. Mm-hmm. You know, these same bureaucrats just kind of fester and stay. Yeah. And, and we pay <laughs> them too much, say. right? Well, within the ministry, they do. There's some very good working bureaucrats, but yes. within the ministry... Some of them flourish. Some of them <laughs> fester. Okay. Well, in this case, I think the festering. <laughs> but I, I want to tell our audience there, you know, we, the letters help, mm-hmm. but please call copy the letters to either us here at Roadkill so we can keep track of sure. what kind of correspondence is going or you guys, you know, if you get them, make sure we get copies. Mm-hmm. But um, my question is, what does Minister Polak know about this case? Obviously, people have written to her. Yeah. Yes, we know that people have written to her and we've received a few copies of the letters that have been sent to her. But as far as what... Um, what what's her response? Any response at all? It's been the same response uh because it's before the court she she can't get involved uh she can't discuss like de- hell she can't she can't discuss details of the case because of confidentiality reasons etc cetera, etc cetera. well you know what we'll do we'll just put a letter off to her and say you know we'll waive all our rights to confidentiality exactly. let's right. chat about do this you know exactly. Mr. Pollack? yes i do I, Pollack and i do too so yeah um we've got another call and we're running quick out of time so caller you're gonna huh. have to be quick i'll be quick um Carrie, this is Yvonne Johnson. Um, you helped me bring home my daughter eight years ago. Um, I have uh, contacted Paul and Zabeth on fa- uh, Facebook and, and through emails, um, just uh, telling them what I had to go through as well um, and what we decided to go through and uh, that the Lord had actually sent um, many supporters for me who ended up being my spokespeople while um, I had to face the ministry. And what I some of the suggestions I made to Zabeth was just to take it in your own hands. Like, you have to do whatever it takes. Like, go take a first aid course. Go get some uh, budgeting course. Get counseling, even though you don't need it. Just to put down, say, I've done all this. Mm-hmm. What else can you ask of me? Um, and that's why, I, in the end, when we went to court, uh, that there's nothing else that they could put on me. So we ended up beating the CCO. And I just wanted to say to Paul and Zabeth that, um, you are in our hearts. There's a bunch of us ladies that are praying for you, and if there's, we're going to continue writing letters and doing everything we can to support you. Love you both. Oh, Thank thanks, you. Yvonne. Thanks very much. Well, Yvonne, get back in touch with me. I, I, all these cases that come up and you hear, oh my goodness, all these years ago, you know, but, yeah. and here we are, the same old, same old. Same old, same old. This has got to end. Yes, the, the abuse of children has got to end under the guise of children's best interest right, right. It's, it's a facade it's it, it, abuse of parents too well um, mm-hmm. it's abuse of families and mm-hmm. uh, you, you hear about families being under stress for economic reasons uh, the government's put families under stress yeah our first hour of the show was government and unions imposing and putting families under stress yeah f- by imposing unwanted propaganda on them here's another example mm-hmm. here where you've got governments being a prime factor for ripping families apart. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, we can complain about high taxes ripping families apart. We can complain about, uh, you know, bad economic policy ripping families apart. But here, that, that's almost once or twice removed from what's going on here. This is directly, physically, manifestly ripping a family apart. By design. By design. Mm-hmm. By design. And, and all, we're doing it for your own good. We're from the ministry and we're here to help. Yeah. Um, that, well, maybe maybe our words. new uh, premier designate, uh, family values. Family first, uh, yeah. family first, Christy Clark. Yeah. Um, and I don't. I I know Carrie. You don't have much hope um, for any changes under Christy no, you, Clark. You know what? I'm always an optimist, Terry, okay. and I live each I'll day. I'll call you a cockeyed optimist. Yeah, <laughs> I live each day doing all I can. Yes. Um, but I think the solutions within the ministry are not that complicated. Yeah. But it will take leadership. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got one more email. Oh, we Do got we have several, time? No, we got oh, several oh, more come in. They just okay. keep coming in. I'm sorry, we can't get to them all. Thank you so much to Anita and Heather and Stephen and Deanne for... And, for, and, and Jeff and, and, for, and Ron. Like, I think we got yeah. to all those ones as well. Um, 
a tremendous uh, listen. Our hearts go out to Palms and, and we will today. not. Yeah, we will keep this up. We will. Absolutely. We will be doing this again. Um, you and I. Are She's gonna... got a track record. And I have one too. Editor BC Report. We did a lot of stories on yeah. this sort of stuff. Good tag <laughs> yeah, team. Eh? Okay, good. <laughs> They're in trouble <laughs> so, now. Like they are. That's right. You've got the. You've got the terrible twosome. <laughs> or terrific twosome. Yeah. Come I'm on, ter- the terrific. We want them to tremble uh, over the terrible twosome. Okay. Okay. You win this <laughs> one. Right, thank you. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. You guys hang in there and be story. strong. Yes, and right. uh, you. we'll you've get got, together soon. you got two more supporters here. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. It. Okay.